In this video, let's take a look at another scenario where it might not make sense to use React Memo. First, let's set up the components needed for this example. In the incorrect optimization folder, I'm going to create two new files. parent4.js and child5.js. In the child component, I'm going to use the snippet RAFC to create a function component. This component will receive name props which we will destructure and include in the JSX. I'll also add the all important log message. Finally, I'm going to export a memoized version of this component. So export const memoized child5 is equal to react.memo we pass in child5 format it save the file and now let's head to the parent4 component to save us some time i'm going to copy the code from parent3.js so copy the code paste it and let's make the necessary modifications First, change all occurrences of parent 3 to parent 4. Then, change all occurrences of memoized child 4 to memoized child 5. And the import statement is from child 5 as well. Let me delete the commented code. Let's save the file and finally include this component in app.js and make sure it is working as expected. So parent 4 and make sure to import it at the top. Let's head to the browser and test this out. On page load, you can see the messages from the initial render, parent 4 and child 5. If I clear the console and click on change name, both the components re-render as expected. If I clear the console again, click on count, only the parent re-renders since we have wrapped the child component with react memo and the count variable is not passed in as a prop. So everything works fine at the moment. Now we have a new requirement and that requirement is to display a person's first name and last name in the child component. We could do that directly in the child component but since most of our data resides in the parent component, let's add the person object in the parent component and pass it down as props. So after you state, I'm going to declare a variable called person or a constant called person with first name Bruce and last name Wayne and let's pass this as a prop to the child component so person is equal to the person object that we have just created in the child component destructure person from props and render person.fname and person.lname. All right, let's save both the files and head to the browser to test the render behavior. On page load, we have the log messages from the initial render. If I clear the console, click on change name, we have both the messages again as expected. If I now clear the console and click on the count button, you can see that again, we have both the log messages. This is unexpected since we wrapped the child component with memo and the only thing changing here is the count state variable, which is not even passed in as a prop. Well, this is because 
of the person object we have in the parent component. Every time the parent component renders, a new person object reference is created and then passed in as props to the child component. If the reference changed, React Memo cannot optimize and hence the child also re-renders. Now, this is not the case with just objects. Functions also have a similar effect. So in the parent component, I'm going to define a new function. Const handle click is equal to an empty function. We are not really concerned about the implementation, so I leave the function body empty. Now, as prop, instead of person, I will pass in this handle click function and remove the person props from the child component. If you now head to the browser and click on the count button, the child component still re-renders. This is again because of the new reference. When you click on count, the parent component re-renders because of state change. During that re-render, the parent component creates a new reference of the handle click function and then passes that new reference as props to the child component, which means React Memo cannot optimize and the child component re-renders. So the takeaway from this video is that if your component has objects or functions and you're wrapping one of its child components with React Memo, it is an incorrect usage of memoization. Something to keep in mind when trying to optimize your components. Now I know that creating objects or functions such as click handlers are very common in React components. So next, Let's see what we can do so that React Memo works as expected, even when we have objects and functions in our React components. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.